of Mascara Festival, Ellie Rose Lee Alola, Macaulay City. <laughs> Kyle Salimbot from the home of historical and natural treasures, Gobago! Leslie Paklauna from the home of Balbagan Festival, Ang Banwang Panganay, Binalbagan! Derek Karikamo Kagmagdinaksa Sakari City! From the home of Lila Pandan Festival, LJ Dumarik Salama, Larga Kalatrava. World Tranquility, Prince of Hay John Santiwana, Candy Nishai. Ikan sa lugar kung diin ang kawayan na galubay lumay, Zoe Clarice Simpson, Panwa, Sang Kawaya! sa Summer Capital Sang Negros, ako si Janice Nengio Villanueva, Don Salvador Benedicto. A May Lu from the home of the Yunan Festival, Ibi Magalola. Maglipay-lipay kita sa Manlambas Festival. So, Dea Shadea Apuliva, Escalante City! Raisa Fortuna, from the Awakened Dragon of the South, Kimo Mylan! Jalisa Marie Nangan, from the pyrotechnic capital of Negros, Hinigaran! Come and have fun to the Pagbanaag Festival. Your Yalal Mario Minavas, Juan Hinobal. of oysters and mud crab, Patricia Isabel Galapino, Magkisikisi sa ilo! From the home of Panuglion Festival, I am Hannah Fornit, Damo Isabella. From the home of Jacan Sinalog Festival, Daniela Kihano Ross, aim high, Kaban Kalan! Feel the beat of the draw meeting city of beauty and death! Camela Kaila Padilla, let's go! Yaka Yaka! Enjoy the dancing lights of Bayas de Luces, Marie Louise Adolacion Aranca, La Castellana. Leon Florentino, from the home of the livestock capital of Negros Occidental, Moises Padilla. Karina Kagmagtinabuay, Dean Yvette Ginana, Municipality of Murcia. Maghiliw sa kita sa Hanturayong Festival.
Festival. Chris Winkler is si Española, Pontevedra. Where love for nature truly begins. Yurika Jane Zerudo, City of the Guy. Dayon og bisita ang Pinta Flores Festival, Rio Colonia. Vamos San Carlos. Destination of Nagra, Delhi City. Ed Marie Aguilar experienced the jewel of the Sugar Island. Wow, si Palay. La Servicio and the home of the Middle World Festival, Rasheen K. A. Hamanto, City of Talisay! Let's experience the Sagahan Festival! I am Girlie Anne Monava Gagliano, Asenso Pa, Fabulous Togoso! Kyla Rose Romarate from the home of the Sidlak Padalag and Festival, Victoria! Pinalbagan attests to the fact that it is the oldest established town in Western Visayas. It shows solidarity among its people and showcases the agricultural economic activity of the land. It magnifies the symbol of strength of the Carabao. It represents the resilience and determination of the town's people. The bright rays of the sun symbolizes the hope of everyone in dealing with whatever comes along the way. Designer, Frederick Itchen. The municipality of Calatrava displays the various marine and woodland resources that sustained the people at the heart of the logo lies the map of Negros Occidental encircling the inner sphere, while the blue gears stand in by the portent barangays during the early days of township, and its blue use denotes stability and deep wisdom. The seal also includes the source of livelihood, which includes pandan and the products produced from it, and it also highlights the friendly Monkeys, Municipality of Calatrava. Designer, Ternagar, Clavel, Patohan.
seal is a visual representation of the wonders and wealth of its thriving agriculture comprising the paddy field, farm animals, rivers, and bahay kubo. This costume is embellished with a locally known humay that represents the harvest of hope and gratitude. This ensemble is dedicated to the ensemble heroes, the local farmers who serve as the backbone since time immemorial where farming has become the main source of living. Designer, Joan Tamasis and Zoo Stylo. I am embodying Kawayan through a costume that features our main product, the Kawayan. It tells the story of resilience rooted in our people. The headdress symbolizes our bountiful living in the field of farming. The design also features Kawayan's tradition in aquaculture and fisheries that have become the source of livelihood for many Kawayanans. Designer, Ethel Donoso. My costume tells the story of the hardworking farmer of Don Salvador Benedicto, featuring our products like Ape, Luia, Mani, and Piña, symbolizing the Kalikalihan Harvest Festival. It also features the zigzag road that will take you on a journey filled with scenic wonder. Adorning the back of the costume is a majestic Malatan on Falls, while the steadfast lion symbolizes our bravery. The sun represents light, but is also known to signify the power and positivity of every Salvadorian designer, Kim Libuon Zerudo. Colonna evolved from being a seafood trade hub to a vibrant gateway in the north because of the construction of the Mantaang port that weaves new life into town's economy and infrastructure, embodying one of the elements in our seal, the ship, a symbol of not only the town's livelihood but also its resilience in upholding traditions and heritage. People were made to wonder that the town's people faith has been deeply intertwined with sea. We are anchored to the place that's always been part of our core through our promise of being born, E.B. Magalona will always be our home. Designer, Riley Mirasol, Hiponia. <laughs> Sa ulo ko, mag-isa, pag-iliw sa, pag-anak sa ulo ko, ganit
This vibrant costume pays homage to Hinikaran with its majestic lion headdress symbolizing strength, eagle shoulder pieces representing power, and grand eagle wings. It also features an intricate oil painting showcasing agricultural heritage with a carabao amidst rice and sugarcane fields, along with marine elements. Lampiron shells, abundant in Hinigaran, adorn the costume, reflecting its rich natural resources and celebrating the municipality's spirit and resilience. Designer, Aaron Spencer A. Marine. features the elements of Hinobaan's seal. Adorned with shimmering gold bars, paying homage to the town's unexpected treasure unearthed in 1982. The costume features a gold guard motif, hinting at the hidden wealth waiting to be discovered. Complete with peak access, shovels, and pans, it captures the essence of the bustling gold mining and panning livelihood embraced by the town's folk. Designer, Japhet Pangantino. refers to the integration between the fishing industry and agricultural activities in the municipality of Ilo. This theme highlights the potential synergies and mutual benefits when these two sectors work together. The fishing net and scale-like texture represent the fishing industry as a source of livelihood of Ilognons. The other side embodies the resiliency of the farming sector represented by the carabao and woven basket. Overall, this team underscores the potential for innovation and cooperation between the fishing industry and agricultural sectors to promote and support rural livelihoods. Designer, Jude Chael. The most popular and difficult to reach pilgrimage site during Holy Week in the municipality of Isabella is the Glory Hill, which is also featured in our sale. Glory Hill symbolizes faith, hope, and sacrifice. Behold the beauty of our 70-year-old Glory Hill. I am Yorena Panata, representing the Glory Hill. Designer, Anthony Ortega. Hello. 
seal is comprised of the green loop which symbolizes the center of agri and ecotourism industries a resilient and livable community it also features municipal hall where people are sustained by immortal legacy of culture and history where it connects to its people the national flag which showcases the spirit of our place ambitious vigorous and fearless and mount kanaan that covers the hidden gems of our mother nature behold the beauty of la castellana designer to fate worry Moises Padilla's seal features one of our livestock, the Carabao. Carabao represents the Magayon people who are known to be hardworking, persistent, and efficient. We bring you our municipal sculpture, our people, and what we represent through this costume. Designer, Rinoy Palacios. where nature meets commons. A queen who shares its beauty and bountiful harvest, whose throne sits just below the rumbling Kanlaong, protecting its 23 beautiful gems united like one nation. Golden harvest of its lush sugarcane, rushing water from its cascading waterfalls, the inviting rivers that say it all, blooming flowers and hovering foliage. There is nothing more you can ask for. Morsha has it all. Come one, come all. Designer, Chino Christopherson. costume is inspired by the historic lighthouse in Pontevedra, which was built by the Spanish conquerors many years ago. The lighthouse stands tall on a rock, giving the town the name Ponte Piedra. It serves as a guide for the fishermen on their voyage. Additionally, the ocean theme part of the costume is adorned with lampiro shells, which are a popular seafood in Pontevedra. Designer, Mr. Rinoy Palacios.
considered as one of the coastal municipality of Negros. This festival costume is inspired by our seal that features the vast and abundant mangrove forest that protects the municipality from storm surge, strong wind, and typhoons. It is also home to many species of crabs, seashells, birds, fish, and serves as the nursery to small fishes. The main characteristic of a mangroves are strong and resilient just like every Tinobaganon. Designer, Rinoy Palacios. The municipality of Toboso Sagahan Festival, where people used to catch fish with their own hands, stands as our town's highlight. Seen in our seal are the spiral patterns of waves that illustrate our resilience. Like fish fins, we Tobosenos drive ourselves to greater heights. Our municipality's growth begins at the government center, the heart of our community, kung asa nagsugod ang paglambu sa among banwa. And as I walk down the runway, I carry with me the history and stories of our love Sarah fishermen, vendors, and my fellow Tobo Senyos. Designer, Takahiro Janat Togomeo. Let's welcome back our Lin Eyes from the Municipal Category.
Once again, let's give it up for our candidates in the festival costume competition sa aton ng municipal category. For everyone's information, ang aton criteria for judging is 20% of their total score. 10% will go to carriage, kung paano nila ginadala ang ilaka ugalingon, and 10% towards the interpretation of their very own theme. Ang aton mga designers are all from Negros Occidental, and they will have a chance to win the Best in Festival Costume Designer Award. 50% is construction, and 50% is the overall concept of the theme. Mind you, this will not affect the total score of our candidates. We would also like to take this opportunity to recognize the presence of the mayor of the city of Himamaylan, the Honorable Rogelio Raymond I. Thompson. Of course, everyone, if nakatilaw na kamo sang kape sang kanlaon, then you will love the energy that we have here on stage. So let's not keep you waiting. Let's welcome our candidates in the festival costume competition, the city category. In the heart of the City of Smiles emblem, the torch stands tall, a beacon of spirit, bravery, and the resolve to rise above all. It embodies the fervent passion that Linay Sang Bacolod bears, her devotion to serve her city, her people, with utmost care. A tapestry of progress, woven with threads of pride, as Bacolod marches forward with destiny as its guide. Designer, Charlotte Rodriguez. The Bagu watershed with all its bounty traverses through its lands in beautiful patterns is highlighted in my festival costume of Lin Ai Sang Bago, nurturing its primary product that is Palai, adorned with acrylic stones in gold, which is one of the significant colors found in the seal. These represent the city's abundance in resources and the very reason why Bagu City is known as the rice granary of the province. Designer, Jami Jam Inera. Festival costume depicts Princess Maribel, daughter of the King of Oceans, descendant of the whales. Like the 22 rays of sun in Cata City seal, she gathered 22 soldiers and built her kingdom like giant boulders. Where the ocean meets the shore, this princess fed her people abundance from the sea floor. Her beauty remains when you hear the whale whistle. She's back again, ready to sizzle. Designer Chino Medesma Christopherson.
My costume depicts the protector of Yutan Bulan. Escalante City still is comprised of the City Rotonda, the new government center, and Mount Lune Cross. The Mount Lune Cross stands proudly at 308 feet above sea level in the city, while the City Rotonda is a symbol of strength and bravery of every Escalante Han. The Pentagon, an armor that represents the brain and heart of the city, the new government center of Escalante, while the headdress symbolizes the fate of every Escalante Han. Designer, Rene Braza. Buhi ang produktong necrosanon. Mamaylan is known for its rich agriculture, particularly in rice and sugar cane, which serves as the source for the production of sugar and ethanol. History and Caban Kalanon's unique tradition and kush. Designer, Jeros Alves. The Lacarlot seal encompasses the Central Azucarera de la Carlota that symbolizes our economic prosperity. The emblematic iron chain represents the strength and resilience of the Carlotenius. And the Tapacera shows how empowered and strong we are as the Carlotenius. All hail to the sweet realm of the Tapacera. Designer, Stefan Eugenio Alcala. My costume is inspired by my beloved city's official logo. The shade of green signifies the unified goal and active involvement to the development agenda of our leaders and all the Sakainos, while yellow symbolizes balance of the industries, environment, and the labor sectors. The three sugar mills in the city are the lifeblood of the majority of Sakainos, and the legendary Il Catrine No. 7 stands as a vital part of our city's history. My headdress are the 24 rays of the sun, signifies the 24 barangays of our city, and my dove handpiece depicts the overwhelming peace and security in our city. And lastly, the fishes serves as our undying commitment in marine conservation and preservation. True to our tagline, where love for nature truly begins. Designer, Pao Kanoy Pamaniba.
Central City official seal focuses on our province's major source of livelihood, agriculture, where sugarcane plantation and palay occupies the vast land field. The seaport serves as a gateway to Negros Occidental for nearby provinces and regions. San Carlos Milling Company sustains livelihood to San Carlos Senios and serves as our emblem of progress and sustainability. Designer, Richardson Nemenzo Apay. official seal is comprised of four elements. The fish, which represents one of the four main livelihoods of Silai. The Hawaiian Philippine Company, which is one of the biggest sugar central in Negros. And the sugar cane, which defines the livelihood and Silai as the progressive city as it is today. The pots, in addition, represents the culture and also one of the livelihoods in Silai. Lastly, the 16 stars, which represents the 16 barangays of Silai City. Designer, Jason Fieldad Capistrano. official seal is composed of different unique elements. The 17 stars represent the 17 unique barangays that add to the richness and diversity of the city. The mining pickaxe symbolizes the historical significance of the mining industry that once served as an important economic force in the city's development. The fishnet bodysuit represents the fishing industry, which is the primary source of income that boosted the city's tourism sector owing to the abundance of the flying fish locally known as barong. The golden rice plants depict that Sipalai also has a flourishing farming industry that serves as a vital component of Sipalai's economy, highlighting the city's multifaceted nature. Designer, Felicity Bonsky Gonzalito. costume is inspired by the city's ceiling, which highlights the Tanisai tree, which represents the Tanisai bravery. The coin with feathers symbolizes the strong and rapid economic expansion of the Tanisai city. The colors green, yellow, bronze, and gold symbolizes beauty, elegance, and progress. The back dress of the costume is hand-painted, which represents the rapid growth of the city from the past up to the present administration, which embodies Guapo Maserichio's tagline, placing Talisay City in its being of economic boost and in full capacity for the inflow of business investors. Designer, Ken Gomez Tejada.
the seal of Victoria City bears kadalagan, 1876 and 1998, years that mark the successful establishment of Victoria's as a municipality and city. Seen in our city seal is the Gamahon Echo Park, which features a diverse flora and fauna symbolizing the city's triumph in protecting its ecosystem. It also features the Victoria's Milling Company, the largest refined sugar producer in the Philippines. Victoria serves as a to Negros Occidental's Kadalagan as the sugar capital of the nation. If you seek a sign that's right, in my costume, victory shines bright. Designer, Roginico Pecarda. Let's welcome back our candidates in the city category. Una, yeah, yeah, una.